So I've never played a Mega Man game. I like the series, but I never really felt compelled to go out and buy a Mega Man game and play it. Well, many people came to the conclusion that Mega Man 10 would be the final game in the series due to the fact that Capcom pushed away the concept for Mega Man 11, supposedly. Until now. So I thought, hey, why not make a video explaining what Mega Man 11 even is and what people should know about it? Alright, so here's the big stuff that I probably should mention first about Mega Man 11. The game will launch in late 2018. I don't know an exact date yet, but what's interesting about that release date is that Mega Man will turn 30 next year on December 18th to be exact. And Capcom confirmed in their hashtag Mega Man 30 anniversary livestream on Twitch that Capcom is making this game just to give a little tribute to fans for Mega Man turning 30. Mega Man 11 will launch for the PC, PS4, Xbox One, and the Nintendo Switch. I want to focus on the Nintendo Switch for a second here, because with this new flagship Mega Man game coming to the Switch, it really does say something about the console's third-party state right now. So maybe this proves that Capcom is going to be releasing even more games on the Nintendo Switch? So that's all the main stuff, now I'm gonna go into the more smaller bits that you probably should know anyway. Mega Man 11 was originally leaked in the Mega Man Legacy Collection 2, which launched back on August 8th of this year. Basically, these two pictures were found inside of the Mega Man Museum in Legacy 2, and it had even the most die-hard Mega Man fans scratching their heads. Nobody knew what this was for, because the content featured in the art was new. Now we know what that art was for with the announcement of Mega Man 11 today. Something that was actually a different move by Capcom was actually the art style of the game. It's got a hand-drawn feel to it, which definitely makes it stand out from a lot of other games today. Mega Man 11's trailer features some of the game's OST, and while it's not the best thing I've ever heard, it's still a good soundtrack, and I'm sure Mega Man fans are gonna enjoy it. The Blue Bomber's Return will also feature a lot of classic bosses from previous Mega Man games, which a lot of them are from the original classics on the Nintendo Entertainment System. So if those are your most favorite Mega Man games, you'll have a blast with the boss fights in Mega Man 11. So that was everything that you need to know about Mega Man 11. If some of you are disappointed and were hoping for more information on Mega Man 11, Keep in mind that the game was just announced today. More information will be announced next summer for the game. However, I'll try to keep you updated on the game's features on my channel. So if you want to be notified of that, you can subscribe. But it's totally up to you. I don't want to pressure you into subscribing to my YouTube channel. So I hope you did enjoy this video. It would be appreciated if you shared this video, but it's always up to you. I'll have links to my social medias in the description. And see you.